right now polishes for spring today. Um, I have to keep them in a box because there's way too many. But they're going to be mostly Essie because when I did go and get these, this can be a haul too, but Essie was on sale. And I also think that Essie has the best selection of spring and pastel colors. Even though I do love OPI, I think OPI has better dark and reds. And OPI just has like the best color selection of bright pastel colors. And um, I also show you what's on my nails, but okay, let's get started. So first of all, I'm just gonna start off with the cooler colors. And this is Essie's She's Picture Perfect, and it's just a perfect pastel -y violet purple. And it just gives off like a milky purple. I love it. I love pastels for spring. And um, it's really delicate and really easy to wear. And Essie tends to be a little sheer, so you can really layer this on. But it's not thick. Like, it doesn't get thick. So you can wear it sheer, you can wear it thick. And I just really like the fact that it's matte also, because shimmer can be hard to wear after a while. So yes, that's the first one. And secondly, I got... And secondly, and secondly, also from Essie, I got Lapis of Luxury. This is just a really pretty periwinkle blue. Um, I like it because even though it's a tad dark, it's still really springy, springy, I guess. And it's not like electric blue or anything where it's like overdone and I think that's more for summer. But I think this is really easy to wear. I think it would look really good with white or just all white or all black. And oh, sorry, I almost dropped something. And um, it's this one's also matte. Um, I don't, I didn't pick out a lot with shimmer in it, but I think this would just look so great on. And of course, again, it would be sheer, but not as sheer as the purple. And the only one that's not from Essie, um, this is China Glaze Bahamian Escape. And I like this because it's close to the nail polish that I have on. And this is No Name Yet by China Glaze. But I got a lot of compliments on this, so I was trying to find it again, but I couldn't quite find it. But this is a little, little brighter than the one I have on. Because I was aiming for like Tiffany's Blue, but not as like, I don't want that greenish hue. So I think these were a great alternative to if you want that Tiffany's blue type effect. And it's also not too bright for spring, it's just perfect. And that is it for the deeper slash colder tones. And I'm going to move on to warmer tones, which I think really just screams out spring. So This is, I think, the darkest shade that I got. And this is Essie's Plumberry. And it's like a raspberry really bright color but I love it because it's really dark but let me see there it looks like there's a hint of shimmer on the outside but you can't really see it when you look inside and I just think that this is a really fun color to wear um, also like the blue I think it'll look great with white and or orange but this is just really fun around fun to play around with it's not as wearable as the others but it's just gorgeous on its own, and it's really a statement color. It's kind of a mix between, yeah, like, because it's called Plumberry, but I don't really see the purple in it. It's more like pink slash reddish. There you go. And this is just really a baby doll pink. Um, this is a pastel pink. More bright pink, though. Um, I went to the store, and this girl, she picked out, like, five nail polish. She's like, which pink do you like the best? I was like, I like this one definitely, because it's not like an in-between shade, it's like legit pink. Um, I really like it, it's matte, again, um, but I like all these like milky hues in it, because it's pastel, it gives off that vibe. And this is called Pansy, and I think this is just, this is, this is one of the summer, summer shades also, but you can also wear this in spring, it's brighter than the others. Um, I don't think this is as wearable, but I think that on its own, it really stands out, and I really love this. And a lighter alternative to that pink is, this is like baby pink, not like baby doll, Barbie doll pink, but this is like, um, what is this color? It's, oh, it's raised awareness, so I guess it's the breast, breast cancer shade. Um, 
this is just so beautiful and I'm it's really sheer though as you can see it's just the perfect pink and this is very wearable you can probably wear this with anything and it'll look good but I love these pastel I can't get over it um, just this is probably one of the most springest what, why do you use that the most springy colors and yeah I just love this one now what I love the most is the orange trends that are going on for spring um, this is the brightest orange that I got because I did try neon orange but that just looked really bad on me um, this is called Tarte Deco T-A-R-T without an E and this is just the perfect opaque orange and I love this this is probably my favorite color out of all these and I'm just so excited to wear it um, this could be a summer color also but it's kind of muted so it's not neon and it's just a gorgeous color it speaks for itself really um, orange in general I just think it's a huge trend this year so yep go get this and this is a light orange if you're not daring enough to get the other one I guess um, this is just really light. It's called a crude interest. Crude, like crew. But it's just so pretty. Um, it is really light. So it's similar to that light pink. It's like that light pink to the normal pink is this to the orange I just showed you. That's like the ratio of comparison. But if that makes sense, I, I'm really tired. But um, this is just such a pretty orange. I hope the camera is doing it justice. Um, oh, there's beads in it, yay. But these, I think this is the, this, I think this is so easy to wear. This is one of the ones I would maybe choose to sheer out um, because it's just so pretty. You just want that hint of orange and this could be just like a clear color with a hint of orange. If you want an in-between shade between the pink and the orange, this is um, called True Love. And I think this is, this reminds me of grapefruit, which is such a pretty color, but lighter. And yeah, this is just the perfect in-between shade, so that's how I describe it. And I think that this, you can just wear, this is really fun to just wear on its own. Well, they can all stand on its own, but just a couple of them are really statement ones. You really have to layer this on though, because it all, it is already sheer. And lastly, I got, this is really different from all the others, but this is Essie's Oui Madame. Um, it's a pearly pink, pearly pink, pearly white, and I just think it's so gorgeous. You can see the light reflecting off of it, like I can see my face in the bottle, but it is just... I, when I think of this color, I think of like high fashion and like models wearing this, like this is silver. So, when it comes out, so this definitely does have shimmer in it, but it's like a pearly, like aluminum glow, so it's really nice. It's not like that tacky shimmer, and it's just like really light reflecting. It's not really like shimmer. I can't really... This is probably one of my favorite ones, but this you can wear it all year round. I just think you can brighten this up because it's spring, it brightens everything up. Um, this can definitely work as a, sh as a winter shade also. So, yep, that's the last of it, but um, I just think that this, this trends for nail polish in general, um, based off what I get for compliments and stuff, this color right here, which is the Tiffany's type blue that I showed you, called No Name Yet by China Blaze, and the orange that I got, those two I got compliments on like crazy. Um, I think people just love oranges this year, and I think they just like the blue, but oranges, like number one trend this year for spring, in my opinion. But I think you should go check these out. Um, I did get them for a slightly discounted price, so I don't know how much Essie is really, but if not, I suggest Charlie Blaze. But if you could, Essie has the best spring pastel selection. I can't stress that enough. But after getting all these colors, even though they're not all for me, um, I just really want to like switch my nail polish like every day to match my outfit. But that's way too much. I get way too lazy. So after. 
after showing you all these, I really want to like switch my nail polish every day and like switch it to match my outfit, but that's way too much work and I'm lazy. But I hope you guys found some new nail polish colors that you didn't know about before or you like thought of a new trend. But the one color that I really wanted to find that I couldn't find was like a seafoam green. Um, I think that would have been so great and like perfect for spring, but the place that I went to, I couldn't find any, so go find yourself a good one. Um, I might link a picture or something to one that I'm talking about, but yep, that's it, and hope you liked my video. Thank you for watching. Bye!